M title mega pack for DaVinci Resolve is finally here. It's one of the biggest and most versatile packs there is, so let's waste no more time and dive straight into it. So once you've installed the M title mega pack from the installer, you want to head over to the effects tab and search M title mega. That should be enough for the whole pack to come up, but here you'll find 125 titles. Now this is 15 less than the 140 titles found on the M title mega pack off for Final Cut Pro, but that is due to the limitations DaVinci Resolve has. But like with every motion VFX pack, this pack doesn't require you to have the studio version of Resolve. And the last thing to note is that due to a DaVinci Resolve bug that we're attempting to get around, some of the titles don't quite give you the opportunity to preview what it looks like just by hovering over. So you will have to drag it onto the timeline, that way you can understand what it really looks like. Now kicking things off with using these titles, everything I'm showing you now is pretty standard across all the titles except some having a few additional variations, but I'll go through those shortly. So if we drag pack number three on top of this clip, the first thing we're going to have when we go to our inspector are the in and out points. Now this just controls the title's animation when the layer starts and ends. And what's really clever about these motion VFX titles is that the animation automatically adjusts to the length of time that you make the layer. So if I make it really long, the title will continue to work perfectly to that time span. However, if you make it too short, the title won't quite animate out due to the amount of time it takes. Next, we have the content controls, and this acts as a master control for the entire title. You can change the placement, size, rotation, and then each title does have a different variation of what else is included. So for example, this one has a zoom amount, others have an animation direction. So the more titles you end up using, the more variations you come across, but just know you can control the entire layer through this one tab. Now, this is gonna look different across every title you use, just because some have more text options than others. Some have a header, title, subtitle, secondary title. So although the amount of title tabs will vary, the way you control them will be the exact same. You have the ability to customize the text, the font, the color, the sizing, the positioning, all of those adjustments can be made in these tabs, along with the option to toggle off the actual title. Now I will go back, but just for now, I'm gonna skip all the way down to the last tab, which is background controls. Now this tab, exactly as it sounds, will control whether you want there to be a background on the title or not. So if I toggle this off, you can see it's just the text without a background. So now going up a tab into the drop shadow controls, this is where you can have the drop shadow behind the text to make it stand out just that much more. So if you do want to show the footage behind the title, but you want to make it stand out a bit more, this is your best bet. Another alternative could be getting rid of the drop shadow, keeping on the background, but just dropping the alpha, which is essentially the opacity. You can just play with that so you can still get the best of both worlds without the drop shadow. And then the very last section at the bottom is the 4K quality checkbox. Now this just ensures your titles are properly scaled and are the best quality. Before I move on to the next title, there was a tab that I didn't mention, which was the effects controls. Now this will vary depending on the title you use. Some have effects controls, some have 3D controls. There's different types of additional tabs depending on what you're using. But all of the tabs will work in a similar way, just so you can customize the look you want exactly how you want it. So now diving more into specific examples and we'll use number 22 for reference where we have this welcome glitch effect coming in. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do before I start customizing this is check that 4K quality box just so it's properly scaled and I can start customizing it knowing it's not gonna change once I hit that box. So most of the tabs in the inspector tab we have already been through but this one has two additional ones drop zone controls and glitches controls. Now glitches controls is similar to the effects controls in the last one where as it sounds you control the glitches which is essentially this version's one of the effects. The drop zone controls is slightly different. Now anywhere you see drop zone essentially means where you can put your own images in. So this title is actually built for you to put your own image behind. So if I just remove this title temporarily you can see this box here where it has a drop zone. Now this is where you can actually put your own image in. Find the folder of where you have that image you want to reference, choose that photo, and there you have it. It then plays with that photo there. Now, please note that this won't work with video, it will only work with photos. So you can, of course, alternatively put a video behind it. You will see this comes on. Let me just turn off the background tab, turn it off there, and now we have the image coming in just like that. And then from here, we can play around with the image. So quite now, the opacity is on I guess, equivalent to 40%. So if I go to 100, you can see it's come all the way. So you have the complete ability to customize the photo in the drop zone to achieve the look you're going for. And the last example I'm going over is title 36. Now this is one of the titles with 3D elements. That again, can be completely customized and it does look complicated at first, but it's actually super simple. So first find a frame that you want to use as our reference. Then we'll go back to where we'll spend most of our time doing this. And that is the inspector tab. Hit the 3D title controls tab and here you can change it to be anything you want. So if I put JC, 
because that's me you can see that comes over and blocks over the family fund so all we'll do is just slightly shift that then from here you can actually change the 3d elements so if we move down this side of it into like the x y z rotation you can see we can move that and rotate it still in that 3d axis if we come to extrusion depth we can change how much of a 3d element it actually is and last major change on this is the pattern scale so this is the pattern that is currently there you can change it zooming in and out to how much you want you can then customize the colors that are in that pattern so you just have all the flexibility to create what you want and it really is as easy as moving a slider left or right so I hope this overview has been helpful to you to better understand the pack. Please remember, if you have any questions at all, drop them down below in the comments or head to our website at motionvfx.com. I've been JC, and this has been your M-Title Mega Pack Overview, and I'll catch you in the next one.